Welcome to the Real Cheetah Project. It is Real Cheetah Boy, and we are on it. This is the last episode of Vegeta. Thank you so much for everybody who supported so far. Vegeta is the beginning of all this. So no matter where this goes, this is always going to be the beginning of the journey, the beginning of the trek, and that's going to how it's going to be forever. So we got a few boxes we get, we got to check before we can send Vegeta off into eternity. Because again, I'm going to say this in future episodes. This is it. This is a tribute. This is what I offer up to him. This is what I offer up to Dragon Ball Z. And when once this is done, it's done. There's no going back. So anything I didn't say, I didn't say it. Anything I said, I said it. And, you know, there's no there's no contingencies or amendments or redos. You know, this is it. This is what I have to offer on the probably the most influential show of my whole life. So um, here we are. You know, and I'm and I, and I'm just nerd enough to say that stuff out loud. But I'm sure I'm not the only one. You know, so for all the people who are who are less. Uh, boisterous about that you know hopefully you can get some out of this and hopefully you know i've i've said a lot of things that you, you know you can agree with and a lot of things that are new that you can you know think about you know um and that's what i wanted to set off set this off with from the very beginning so shout out to you vegeta we're gonna say thank you right now but we're gonna have we have a lot to say about vegeta for uh this particular thing ends because man this is it this is it this is it on vegeta and it's not it's not a, it's not a happy it's not a happy departure here but Vegeta is always going to be around. The greatest anti-hero of all time. One hand, down, one of the greatest characters of all time. Uh, the Prince of All Saiyans. Vegeta number seven. The Royal Cheetah Project. And uh, here we are. Turn up, lit, all that good stuff. Wherever you, wherever you're watching this at, um, YouTube. Um, you know, if there's, if it's embedded somewhere, what have you. Um, show Vegeta some love. Um, do one for Vegeta. You know, um, light a candle, <laughs> or, or take a shot, or do whatever you need to. You know, for, for, for this guy who, if you're my age. Probably more than likely had a big part in shaping shaping your childhood, and um, and as I see it, potentially has a has the opportunity now to shape your manhood. You know, uh, I mean, it's all animated, it's all fiction, yes, but still at the same time, somebody real had to create it. So shout out to Jimmy Kudo, but somebody's you know, so how how you know disconnected is it is it at that point? You know, that's you know who's to say? I say it's it's very connected, but hey, you know. You're talking to the Ultimate Dragon Ball Z fanboy here, so <laughs> anyways, so um, Vegeta was the beginning of all this, man. I just, again, I had an idea of, you know, doing, doing just, you know, standalone Vegeta things and, and being done with it, and, but it's turned into this whole project, and Vegeta is always going to have the credit for that, always, always, more than anybody else. You know, Vegeta was, was, was step, was the first literal, like, step, you know, in, in all this, and, and now this is coming to an end, it's kind of... Um, it's kind of, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad because because it's, now it's done. Now it's done. You know, and and that has been taken. And you know, and there's nothing. There's nothing. And, and after this video, there's really not going to be more to be said as far as whole standing alone. Um, you know, having him. You know, kind of kicking it in the crib with me for the for the most part. You know, there's been some late nights and um, there's been ups and downs so far. And um, man, Vegeta's been there the whole way. So you know, shout out to you, Vegeta. Shout out all the Dragon Ball Z fans out there and. Uh, we'll get into it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the project. I think what we really want to get out of Vegeta is just the it's just the notion of working hard. And and if, and if you don't know how to work hard, just just look at Vegeta. And even though the, and even though in some instances we get around to saying that's not the very best way of doing things, it's the best way of doing things for a while until until the more technical, superior forms of training reveal themselves. The Vegeta's form Vegeta form of getting things done. It's very applicable, <laughs> and it's just and it's just put your head down and 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 go and push forward and, and push 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 push, like take your best quality or and 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 push that to the to the max. I mean, and, and Goku kind of did the same thing, but Goku has so many good qualities that you know it kind of he kind of pushed them all together. Vegeta, Vegeta had one thing. And that was, and then for the most part, I mean, we, we, as we established, Vegeta has other qualities too. But Vegeta's strongest quality was his, was 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 his physical prowess, and 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 his training regime, and his time on Namek, and and even after, even during and after the fight on Earth, showed that. So and so he he so he just was like fuck it and <laughs> like i'm just going to, i'm just i'm just i'm just going to outwork everybody i'm just i'm just i'm just going i'm just going to, i'm just going to beat this gravity rim i'm going to beat this pavement i'm going i want i want to beat myself until 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 i'm there you know fuck it and then, so you can't hate vegeta for that 
There are some things that you probably could hate Vegeta for, and we're about to get into those in this particular episode, and it's very unfortunate. But like we said, like I said before, I think Vegeta is just a just a, just emotional, heartbroken individual, and he just he's just trying to he's trying to do things the best way he knows how, and and I don't think that still really uh, mercies him from the from from the the cell thing, but still. I think everything up until then, and even that, even then to us, even that to a lesser extent, was just him just being a, a heartbroken kid, a kid with a dream, and 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 a dream that he never, that he never really got back. And the Android eighteen thing was bad, and and who knows, you know, how deep that year and the high block time chamber got for him, but. Even after, even after the cell, the cell, the cell drama and the cell fiasco, Vegeta still gets my respect. I mean, at least, at least as a, at least as a pure, as a pure workhorse and fighter, he gets my respect. Maybe not so much as a, um, as a prideless, selfless individual, but I mean. Vegeta, Vegeta did his part, man. Vegeta did his part. Vegeta did his part. He saved lives. He saved the more important lives in the series that end up saving other lives in the series. And and then and then when it comes to Cell, the only thing is, man, like, and we and we and we get into this. There was there was nothing on the line with Android eighteen. Android eighteen and Android seventeen were just playing a game, and they were just out looking for Goku. And they really, at the moment, they really weren't a global threat or universal threat. Cell from his inception, from his moment, was 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 a threat to every every living organism on the planet. Straight up, it wasn't he wasn't it wasn't no games to be played. It wasn't no it wasn't no um, contingencies to be had, you know. And then when Cell shows up, you see that the the androids kind of had some resemblance of, of of a heart. They weren't just they just weren't just um, cold machines as they were kind of when they first came on. So, and that only exacerbates the fuck up <laughs> that Vegeta makes because he had a chance to really do some do some good. Finally, and, and and also to get everything he wanted back. But Vegeta, if you're if 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 you're stuck in a in a in a, in a positions. In a, in a certain training, or if you're stuck in a certain point in your life, or if you're if you're just lost, Vegeta, Vegeta's Vegeta's the poster child for those people, and I've been there before. So I mean, I can't say that that has never been me. For to please, <laughs> but Vegeta, that's why I, that's why I appreciate Vegeta so much. Vegeta's a poster child for me for pain and suffering and getting through that shit. Not. And, and and not even just pain and suffering, but disappointment, and and pushing through that shit, bro. Like Vegeta did that, and he did that repeatedly. And even after the 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 mess that it was with Andre eighteen, he still he still even if even if even if it wasn't to the full degree of it was before, then he still tried. He still came back and tried, and he still had an opportunity to really change that. So it, it really changed everything. So and he still makes a contribution when it's all said and done. And he was all said and done. And the way Cell just breaks him down, not even it's not even nowhere near. It's not even nowhere about physical physicality at that point. Even though Cell puts it on him, Cell has and we'll get into this. But Cell has Frieza genes and Goku genes and and, and a whole bunch of other cells or genes. And with that. He knew the best possible way to get under Vegeta's skin. Probably even before he turned. Maybe that's but after he turned. So so wasn't thankful. <laughs> so 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 went this went commenced to talking shit on him in a way that was utterly and completely disrespectful <laughs> and, and and obnoxious and 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 and, and, all, and the way in the way he went about beating Vegeta's ass after that was completely was was completely mental and 
and he was just laughing at Vegeta, and he just said he he convinced the punks Vegeta like that f to the very end, and and that had to hurt more than anything. That had to hurt more than any Kamehameha wave or any or any kind of meteor smash, because 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 he had so he had so he had so, and it's it's the worst. And and then after that, he had to really he was so embarrassed. And when you like, and it's like when you're so embarrassed, like to the point to where you're so utterly embarrassed, where that embarrassed level is so high, I think you have no option to really even like even think think about it. <laughs> like it's like if you like, it's like if you fall when you're walking to get an award, or if you like, like, or if you like fart somewhere and you weren't supposed to, like you just you just don't say anybody. You act like you act like, you act like it never. You act like it, it didn't happen. And everybody's looking at you, and you're just like, "What? Like, you just don't say anything about it. You just leave it, and hopefully, and hopefully, it'll, it'll just it'll just disappear." And that's what, and that's what, and that's what Vegeta did with with Cell to to a very high degree. But still, something like that, um, letting a super cellular cybernetic hybrid maniacal Revenge, sinister, driven, <laughs> super, super synthesized key energy machine capture his his at the last part for him to become even more of that. I don't, you know, I don't really think, you know, that's just something you, you know, that's something you could just sit and 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 tr and try to act like it didn't happen. And Vegeta kind of tried to does that for a little bit. Um, but he he gets a sign in the form of the hyperbolic time chamber, and in the hyperbolic time chamber, um, Vegeta shows Vegeta shows his metal again, and he shows in the form of flames all the frustration that he's felt up until that point, and it's ridiculous. Trunks and Trunks hits it right on the head, and I get, I'm, I'm glad Trunks kind of explicitly outlines for us for that for us because Trunks is like, man, these flames not coming from this room. These, the flames are coming from him, like the the frustration and the rage and the disappointment that he's felt, you know, his whole life, you know, um, and it's just it was and it was it was in this it's it's a beautiful but a sad moment at the same time because um, Vegeta doesn't never get those far as Quell. Everybody else kind of seems to get to get what they want. <laughs> Krillin even gets a bad bit. <laughs> Uh, everybody else it kind of seems to get what they want. Gohan's end up being the strongest. Um, Yamcha's a baseball star. Um, Tien's satisfied with just being a monk. Um, you know, like, um, even though this, even though Goku does die, it seems like was that's what Goku wanted. So it's just you know, and now that he saw how strong his son was, so it, it, everybody seemed to cut what they got what they wanted, except for except for Vegeta. When it's all said and done, um, there was nothing on the line with Andrew eighteen because he was stronger than Andrew eighteen, and unfortunately, that happened the way it did. But he wasn't stronger than Android eighteen. He was stronger than that than that ugly ass cell, <laughs> and then that the, the WWE cell. It, it, it was it 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 was it was just such a big letdown, and it's hard to even swallow that at this point, you know. And then. After that, um, it's just it's, it's just it's just it's just a wrap. Like I said, the, the, there's no more chances for Vegeta, and 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 Cell just punks him mercilessly um, from that point on. But to Vegeta's credit, um, he does show heart, immense, immense, immense heart. At the end of at the end at the end of that at the end of that series at the end of that arc, um, without Vegeta, Gohan, even though he's turned Super Saiyan two, still doesn't beat Cell because Gohan starts fucking up, right? Um, and but also to you know you could say oh well Gohan really doesn't get hurt if not for Vegeta either. 
Yeah, that's true. Right? That's, but he still owes Vegeta because Gohan wouldn't be there <laughs> without Vegeta. Vegeta saved Gohan's life numerous times. Um, and even though Jesus, even though Vegeta did fly off the handle and kind of mess things up a little bit and kind of set the stage for things to go into that, that melancholy ending, um, uh, it was him. That, it was him. It was him that kind of you know. Uh, was the was the deciding factor in the in the, in the in the cell fight as well, but um and and he picked himself up during that fight. He picked himself up during that fight. During after all of that, even after he let Cell go that far, and Cell again beat his ass, talk shit, <laughs> you know, call him all kind of names, and and, and broke his spirit. He still um was able to make a contribution. He still was able to pick himself up and make a contribution. So you can't hate on Vegeta, man. Uh, and um, But at that point, though, then again, tragedy, right? Um, Vegeta realizes all these things to a certain extent. Um, Goku, Goku is gone, so what now, you know? And not even, when, not even that Goku, now that Goku's gone, Goku was stronger than me when he left. And not only did Goku, Goku was stronger than me when he left, his son is still here. And even though I, I sent a little fireball, his son would, would put in the major work. And then his son was the one who actually and ultimately ended up killing himself. And his son is stronger than him. And his son is stronger than me. So now what? I, at some point, I was kind of uh, getting used to being number two and chasing. Because eventually, I guess I figured I was going to catch up. But I'm catching that little dude. That little dude's been crazy ever since he was seven, eight years old. Now look at him. Like, I ain't never seen nothing shit like that. And now I'm number three. <laughs> and I've been smacked around by all these androids. And I let this I let this happen. I let this happen. Gohan doesn't turn Super Saiyan 2 if I, don't, if I, if I take care of Cell when I'm supposed to. This, this was my trophy. And... Not only does Goku have a part of it, Gohan has the majority of it. And I don't have I have nothing. I have nothing. Gohan's Goku's son is stronger than my son. I have <laughs> I have nothing. And I came out here and I got punked. I'm done. And then he is. He is. He's done. He's done. And and Matt and and, and that. And if you end the Dragon Ball Z at that series, that's probably the sad, that's probably the most sad thing that happens, even beyond Goku dying. Because when Goku died, he died with a smile, even though he really wasn't supposed to, and that sucked. Because Gohan was fucking up. But when, um, when Vegeta puts his fist down, when Vegeta puts his fist down, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts at least five times more than Goku again being blown up. Because of, because of who you become to know about, what you come to know about him, and he's serious. And like I said, and and, and if it, the sample size is the way that I feel like it was supposed to be, that's it. You know, Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta quits, and that's sad. And that's the tragedy of Vegeta that he ultimately ends up quitting, but um, potentially. But then you have the Boo Saga, so um, then you can say, okay, maybe it didn't end that way. So, and I guess that's the value of the Boo Saga because um, then you have, then you roll into some some pretty good Vegeta moments um, that doesn't involve him quitting. He picks his fist back up. So, so ultimately, um, I'll say all that to say, and I probably, I probably missed a few points, but I feel like I've talked a lot up until this point. Um, and I'm sorry for the things that I did miss because there's probably some things that I really wanted to say, but I didn't get around to because like I said, I'm just... Um, off the top of my head here um and that makes me sad but um i think we said enough and i think i think we got the, the very gist of um the essence of vegeta kind of outline um so just to recap man without vegeta there is no series pretty much and without vegeta there is a lot of anime characters or animes maybe in general that are popular um vegeta is just so influential man and he's always going to be the greatest saiyan of all time um, the preeminent number two, unfortunately, but hey, if you're number two to Goku, man, that's not bad. Um, even though Gohan has something to say about that still, um, Gohan owes just as much credit to 
Vegeta as he does Piccolo and his dad. So, um, shout out to Vegeta, man. Um, thank you, Vegeta. That's all we. That's all we really want to say. I, I hope I put. I, I hope I put a good picture out there of Vegeta. I mean, there are some. There are some. There are some stumbles in his history, but we can't get around that. And it's all a part of who. Who you know what this character was about from his beginning and. And and even if and even if season six was the was the end and we had the you know kind of infer on who Vegeta was going to be at that point I'm sure I'm sure given the history and everything we know about Vegeta he would have picked his fist up at some point again I mean having losing Goku was probably was re was very devastating to everybody and that just goes to show you know the emotional connection those two had that went that went unsaid the first six seasons but. Vegeta, I believe, I believe in my heart, Vegeta, Vegeta, even even without the Busaga, that Vegeta would have picked up his fist again and and maybe and maybe did some some fantastic shit, you know. But Vegeta, Vegeta ended up. Vegeta didn't never really never really got everything that he was after. He he got he pretty much got everything taken from him from him and never really got everything back. And you know, and if we and like I said, if we stop at season six. We don't really we see a tragedy in Vegeta, not necessarily a triumph, but I mean, if but do we? I mean, Vegeta Vegeta becomes a, becomes a, becomes a father, and he's the he's the pre the preeminent number two, and and the greatest antihero of all time, and 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 he you know got so much from the encounter with Goku, and he's a he's a he survived he survived so much. And he pushed through so much, and he was in at, at the end of it. He's still there, you know. Like Drake says, "I'm still here, dog." You know, like I mean. So, in in that sense, I mean, in that sense, Vegeta, 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 Vegeta is is the is the king of all Saiyans, and he's the last true Saiyan at the end of any season. But if we're gonna stop it, we're gonna stop at the end of season season six. Vegeta is the last true Saiyan standing out of all the Saiyans in the whole universe. I mean, we know how we feel about Goku, but Goku Goku kind of kind of cheated a little bit, <laughs> not and not anything on his own. It was kind of just happenstance. And we'll get into we'll get into that and we'll get into Goku. Goku 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 wasn't raised a Saiyan. Goku was raised on Earth. So. In that classification, as as we said earlier, and if I didn't say it earlier, I'm saying it again right now. I'm gonna say it now, or I'm gonna say it now definitely right now. Vegeta outclasses, for better or for worse, but just but straight up, either way, Vegeta outclasses Goku as a Saiyan. And at the end of season six, Vegeta is the last and strongest Saiyan in the universe. And and and, and everything that a Saiyan was. Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta never, never, never yielded on that. There are times that that it was severely under attack, but Ben don't break mentality. Vegeta is the poster child of that. Uh, we said, "Where I've been, getting to it, going through it, and getting through it, running around killing shits, telling cops I didn't do it. That's why they call me Young OG, and I'ma spit this dope shit into my tongue, OD." You know, like that, that that all that reminds me of of something something Vegeta would have in his head, or or just that just encapsulates Vegeta. Um, in 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 his essence. So, and I think I think I think we nailed it. I think we got I think we got everything that I wanted. I think I got everything I wanted to say about Vegeta with the, with with that with that with the closing with that. So, shout out to Fab, and we're done with Vegeta. So we're moving on to 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 other things. Not necessarily greater things, but other things, things that are skilled in other areas. Because Vegeta is, like I said, it's just as important as anybody else. Vegeta, 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 by the end of the series, by the end of season six, Vegeta rocks the crown and he should rock it very proudly. And, and, but, you know, it still sucks to see Vegeta, you know, in, 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 in action and in words, kind of like for real hang it up. But, you know, I like to believe, like again, like I said, and we'll leave it at this, that he didn't. Day, you know, he eventually he didn't, you know. So, anyways, thanks for the time spent. Hopefully, you enjoyed the Vegeta series, and I like like we say, like I hinted to, we got a whole bunch of other stuff coming, and but that'll do it for just the outright Vegeta. Um, well, his name's gonna come up again in a, in a lot of different ways, but 
you know, not 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 exclusively, not hands on, one on one, or however you want to call it, like this. So, um, so it was good. It's good run, um, and you know, so thank you, thank you, Vegeta, and because again, Vegeta was Vegeta. Honestly, real talk, no shit. It was the start to all of this. Like, again, I was just like with a friend, and I was like. You know, like I'm gonna do some Vegeta videos. I don't think, you know, I think I don't know. I like, I like, I kind of want to get out my opinion out there, of Vegeta, or and, and and or do some Vegeta AMVs. That's all it was. Like, and I don't know why my mind went to him first. I don't. I really don't. Uh. And and but from that, it just it just it just unfolded and unfolded and unfolded and unfolded and you know and who knows what you know now. So thanks to Vegeta for 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 lighten the way through what not to do and what to do you know because sometimes people tell us oh don't do this don't do this but they don't really tell us what to do you know so vegeta vegeta did both vegeta did both and vegeta gets all the respect in the world from me and hopefully hopefully i Gave him a different light to somebody who didn't maybe didn't know him, some of the younger generations, or or somebody who just wrote him off as a as annoying or dirtbaggish or whatever, you know, who knows? But anyways, hopefully, hopefully Vegeta's somewhere in the alternate universe or what have you, or just, you know, he's happy about what came out. So there we go. I wish you know it's hard for me to hit the button right now because you know once I hit this button you know that's kind of it for Vegeta and I kind of have to I kind of have to close it but you know as far as like I said the 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 uh, exclusive you know you know because we we learned a lot about Vegeta at this point man but or we discussed a lot about Vegeta at this point so um, but he's always gonna be around so this is not this is not the end this is not the end so take care of yourselves. Definitely, please say your rosary. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and then we'll we'll see you on the next level. Level up. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy Vegeta. And again, there's much more coming, and uh, so stay tuned. Alrighty, um, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Do what you can, and even if you do make mistakes, you know, follow Vegeta. Follow Vegeta's advice and and, and just push forward. I mean, and, and, and but a bit you're wrong. That's one thing, Vegeta. That's one. That's one thing, Vegeta didn't really. We didn't never really got up, Vegeta. He never really admitted that he was wrong. His pride kind of was always kind of over overbearing on him, and, and and don't let that happen. Pride is a very very bad thing, and definitely at that level, you know. So I'm surprised. So it's, it's kind of surprising that Vegeta got that far with that much that run around with that much pride, you know. But um, we love him for it, regardless. So. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Roar Cheetah Boy. Do me a favor, pick me up, pay me out later. Don't worry about no paper, cause I got my stacked up for nights like this. My life can get crazy, I deal with shit on the daily. But baby, I'm thinking maybe we could agree to work it.
sometimes you're shaking me stressing So I need you with me To keep me right and keep me up all night We can get faded This I can make you so jaded So we can stay shaded Just do us and try to get it 